guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Christine and welcome! Okay, so before we dive into today's video, I do want to say that I'm sorry I haven't posted in a week. I already knew from the beginning that Vlogmas, I might like not make it all the days, but I'm here today with Vlogmas Day 23. Um, so let's get into opening my sock of the day and then I am going to dive into this video because oh my god. If you haven't seen my other videos, then you know I've been so against dating apps this entire year. Um, I mean, I've had bad experiences before this year, but this year was just horrible with dating apps. And I might have come to the conclusion that good men still exist. And oh my god, yes, you can't believe that I'm saying that, but good men still exist. <laughs> Okay, so I did open all my other socks and they were all so cute. Um, so next year, if Target has this, you guys should definitely get this. I mean, even if you just want cute Christmassy and holiday socks, then head over and see if they still have this. They were really, really cute. Okay, so we're day 13. Oh, did I not open that one? That one is that one they moved. All right, it's Santa! So cute. So it has like long socks and short socks. So these are my sock of the day. So let's dive into my video. You guys ready? The best dating app of 2020. Drum roll, please. <laughs> okay, so as you guys know, I have had bad experience with dating apps like Hinge, Bumble, um, Tinder. Let's not get started with this. Um, with all those apps. So this year was the worst. <laughs> so I was over it, like, I even put out a video, I put out a vlog saying I'm saying goodbye to dating apps, I deleted all of those dating apps until this one day, okay, this one day. So for those who know me, I am a Christian, so I was on Facebook and I saw this app, okay, it wasn't Bumble, it wasn't Hinge, or any other dating app. So this app pops up and I'm like, hmm, because it said dating for Christians. So I, cause I tried like, I think it was Christian Mingle, I downloaded it, but it was one of those Christian apps where you had to pay though. It was just like, I'm not going to pay money for dating. Like, I don't know. I just don't see myself ever paying for dating apps. So it said, you know, dating for Christians. So I was like, you know what? This might be a sign. This might be a sign. So I downloaded the app and it has changed my life a little bit, just a little bit. Now you're wondering, so are you in a relationship now? Did you find your future husband? Are you single or taken? Hmm. So no, I'm still single. <laughs> and I know I probably, you would think I would be making this if I got in a relationship, but hear me out, okay? This is the best app for so many reasons, okay? so. If you're like if you're not Christian then if you don't want to check this app out then that's okay but let me tell you if you are religious then you should look up for religious dating apps rather than Tinder, Hinge or Bumble. Okay, so like cuz Hinge their thing is what Hinge was made to be deleted. Well, yeah, it was meant meant to be deleted because you're not going to find a boyfriend on there. You're not Every guy on Hinge, Bumble, Tinder, they're all just looking to fool around, okay? Majority of them. Let me tell you that. 99% of them, okay? Because there are guys I've heard, oh, I've had those apps, but I never wanted to hook up on the first day. Okay, then you're one of that 1%. <laughs> so this app is Upward. So just look around for whatever your beliefs are and look for dating apps within that niche. So like within whatever your beliefs are. I mean, if you want to just mess around and whatever, get your mind off stuff, which I honestly have grown out of that, like, I want something real, I don't want to be messing around, then by all means, then you can go on those apps. So, this app is called Upward. And I even get, like, ads on it on YouTube videos, okay? So, it's Upward, and it's a Christian dating app, and I am saying it's one of the best apps because I've never, ever met guys from dating apps that did not hook up on the first day. Like, 
usually you can tell like you can tell if a guy like or even a girl I guess if you meet someone and right away on the first day they're just like all like they want to kiss right away they want to just hook up in a way like that you're they're kind of hinting that so another example is even not from dating apps like even I went out with dates with guy on dates with guys that like I've known in person that I met in person so I didn't meet them through social media so even with that that recently too it's like when I met with them right away they like try to kiss or they get all touchy touchy and I don't like that so like maybe before it's like okay you know he, I would think he's interested but no like I have learned so much if they're really interested in you they are going to get to know you first they are not gonna try to kiss you on the first date they are not gonna try to have sex with you on the first date no they are going to get to know you and that is what I've learned from this app like I've gone on three dates okay three dates from this app which I didn't even do that from like the other apps it would be like one or two person or like three but whatever so I went on three dates in the last like two months I've had that for two months so I can say that the men on this app they are so respectful so respectful and I love that like even if like it hasn't worked out with us like the fact that this guys were respectful on the first date just says so much and I mean it says so much about them as a person and it also says so much that I'm meeting these people on this app I mean here and there you might find guys that just have this app to see what they can get because I've had a guy like be like oh I'm looking around to like mess around tonight are you down I'm like you're really on a religious app and you're asking to mess around I'm like I just didn't respond to it. okay so the second thing is I have never ever in my life have gone out with any guy that has been like like if I've met them through an app or something that have been like oh like I was looking around on like social media and I found this about you or I've never ever had that like usually it's me like I'm always the one looking up like to find about like any information I can on a person that I'm meeting through the internet because you we have to be safe you have to make sure you know they're not gonna do anything and and it's really hard like to like have that trust or to you know it's like I've never met you you know I have to be smart like for instance like meeting in a public place and not just going straight to their house you know stuff like that but this was like the first time that all three of them like one of them did ask for like my social media so they asked for it but I usually have my just like my Instagram in my bio or whatever and this two guys that actually followed me like by just looking in my bio were like oh so I saw you on Instagram or so I saw your TikToks and I'm just like you know they're really invested they're really interested in getting to know you so that shows a lot for me because it's like they did a little bit of research on me you know that that's a really good sign for me because it's like I want to know that I'm not the only one where I'm looking into f about like finding more about this person that I'm going to meet and then obviously social media what they have on there doesn't like doesn't I don't know how to explain but what you see on social media about a person is not who they are in person so that's something that's really important like a lot of us are yes like whatever we portray on the internet we're exactly that same person like me I'm always portraying like this positive vibes on all my social media which 99% of the time that is me like I love positive vibes I'm all about positive vibes I'm all about positive thinking now because negativity is not gonna get us anywhere and I just love spreading my vibes like my good vibes to other people but that's just me and I've had like I've had like a guy tell me like oh you look even better in person I mean it doesn't matter on the looks but it's more of like how we're portraying ourselves on social media and how we are in person so that's another good thing okay so we've got they don't hook up on the first date they're respectful we've got they actually do research on you meaning they are invested and they're interested in getting to know you who you are as a person so another good thing like so far what I've noticed is compared to like the guys I've met on other um, dating apps like 
they're not it's cringy like the right word I don't know like what word to say but it's like they've been very much of a gentleman like they offer to pay and it's like you know I don't really like it when people pay for me but it's just nice to have someone like offer that and I've actually been on a date from tinder with this guy and we so we spent the night together whatever and the next day this was like years ago we went out to eat and he was like oh you gotta pay for your own food and I'm just like I mean, I don't have a problem with that, but just saying that, like telling that to someone, I'm just like, you're not my type of guy. <laughs> like, I, I'm an independent person. I love paying for myself, trust me, and I love paying for other people every time that I can. So I even like offer most of the time to pay. But that's like another good thing, I guess. And it just, mainly, you guys know, like I've had this like negative, negative mindset on men. And I think I can officially say that I have overcome that mindset. So, I mean, they do say there's a lot of bad in the world, but there's also so much more good in the world. So yes, I, I may have come up with, not come up, but come across men that are very shitty. Sorry for using that word, but I mean, they're just like so disrespectful. So, so, so disrespectful. Like... I just can't, and it's like, let, let's just use this as an uh, um, example. They'll be, they'll like start objectifying a woman for wearing the way she's, like the way she's dressed, for doing dances or doing whatever she's doing that she feels comfortable, and that I don't like. And it's like, just because she is showing a little bit of skin doesn't mean she wants to hook up with you. Like, that is like where my like main problem is too because 90% of men that's how they see me and 100% I guarantee you that is not the type of person I am so that's something that doesn't need to like stop but that's a different story so that yeah so I've come to the conclusion that there are still good men out there and as you can see like I'm just so happy to be saying this like you, if you know me, you've known like all the negative like, aspect I've had. I mean, it could be, it, I mean, not it could be, it is 100% because of the past men I've come across that I'm like, all men are shitty. But they're really not. They're still good out there. And I'm just, I'm happy that God showed me that. That God is slowly showing me that there is someone really good out there for me. So I may not be in a relationship right now because of the app, but. This helped me with my mindset on men so much. If you've had any experience with Upward, leave them in the comments below because I want to know what you guys think and what your experiences have been like if you relate to anything that I said. Um, and I do want to say that I'm sorry that I haven't been posting since a week. Um, but I will be more consistent. It is Christmas this week, so Christmas Eve tomorrow already. So I just want to say a Merry Christmas to those who celebrate Christmas and Happy Holidays for everyone else. And I hope you guys are staying safe. And if you guys like this video, please make sure you leave it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe because I will do an unwrapping of gifts, of Christmas gifts tomorrow. So you don't want to miss that. And I'll see you guys in my next video.